Hi everyone, so today we are going to be doing a tutorial using the Pascal Plus Shaper which has the strip attached which gives more volume on the top and sides as well as one of our beautiful cotton print wraps. We are going to start by wrapping the strip around. I'm putting it basically midway through where the velvet is. I like to get a gradual volume effect versus just having it all in one section but you totally could do that you could just put it in the middle section but this is just what i prefer to do then again taking the second one and putting it a little bit behind where the first one starts taking it all the way around and tucking it right here into the side where it ends here is our cotton wrap as you can see i love this print it's such a good fun summery lightweight fabric and print and I thought it would go perfectly with this top so I'm like may as well wear them together. We are going to put it on um, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna make the right side this is my right side uh, shorter than my left side so let's say by this much. We are going to fold the front a little bit underneath itself so the stitching doesn't show. Then we're going to take the two tails to the back and we are going to crisscross. All I did was just crisscross, bring it to the front. Then we're going to open these two sides up, make sure the two edges are folded inside so the stitching doesn't show. But if it does, it's not the end of the world, it's okay. Then we're going to hold the tails taut but not tight and we're going to bring it up and make a knot. I'm bringing up the side that comes from my left side and taking it underneath right here, making the knot. Then the portion that came out from the front, which is this one, this is the shorter one, we're gonna take it and leave it right here. Then the longer one, we're gonna take around the front behind it and then bring it to the side and tuck it right here into the tail that was going around. Just tucked it right into itself. I didn't tuck it under, literally right into the tail that was here. And I'm gonna take a second to just adjust this portion so it's not sitting so high up, but you can totally adjust it to your likings and your preferences and whatnot. Then we're gonna work with this tail we are opening it up and fanning it out a little bit and then tucking it into itself. And at this point, I'll go through and see what needs to be cleaned up. Um, I see that this portion is sticking out, so I'm going to just fold it into itself. If you have a hand mirror, you can use a hand mirror to see what's going on in the back. I don't usually do that just because I don't know. I just don't do that. I'll usually just feel around. Um, I'll see if, let's say, this portion needs to be tucked in. If it doesn't, I feel like it's okay. It's all good with what it looks like. But yeah, um, I like this alternate way of doing like a top knot look. It's really comfortable, really easy to do. I like the extra volume that it gives up top here. It makes me feel like I'm taller when you all know I'm only five feet. Um, and I love this shaper underneath the style because it does help to give extra padding going around the top and sides also. It's not too much, but it is a nice addition. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's easy to do. Let me know what you think.